And surely today, with the changes that the Muslim world is going through, we are in a time where fear is being used as a weapon against the Muslims. In the Muslim world, it is a hot war. Millions of people are now suffering. Some are facing death only because they say, La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah alayhi salatu wasalam. In the Western countries, the battle may not appear to be a hot one, but it is a battle for the minds. And we need to be aware of this, that no matter where we are, that there are forces that would try to take us off the path. When you look at what is happening in the world, we have to realize that if you are on the ground in those areas, there's a different understanding than what comes over the media to you, to what is perceived by the rest of the world. Today we see the nations talking about Kosovo. They are talking about Albania. And when they speak about that, they are saying that the Serbians who had decimated the Bosnian people only because they were Muslims, in moving against the people of Kosovo, it is stated internationally that these are ethnic Albanians. This is the word being used. But they're not ethnic Albanians, they're Muslims. It is a Muslim area and Kosovo is the site of one of the great struggles in Islamic history. In 1389 AD, a union of Balkan states of Eastern Europe, of crusaders, Gathered, to get, to, gathered together an army of over 100,000 soldiers. And they came into Eastern Europe to destroy the Ottoman Empire, to put out the light of Islam completely. And the Muslims, under the leadership of Bayezid I, came with only 60,000 believers. They met them at Kosovo, and they defeated them with the help of Allah. In 1448, another set of crusaders with over 50,000 soldiers from all over Europe came to Kosovo again to destroy the Muslims and Sultan Murad and the Muslims at the time gathered together and with a small party of believers, they were able to defeat the crusaders in Kosovo. So when the Serbians are attacking Kosovo, they are not attacking ethnic Albanians. They are attacking into the heartlands of Islam. They are trying to destroy the memory of the Muslims. When you look at the struggle going on in that part of the world, you find that when the Serbians bombed the Bosnians, they did not just bomb soldiers. They destroyed museums. They destroyed libraries. They destroyed schools. Why would you destroy a museum? Because when you destroy the history of a people, you are destroying their memory, their culture. And so what is happening now is a struggle not just militarily, but it is a psychological, cultural struggle for the minds and the future of the Muslim world.